Hello again, folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again, and welcome back to the NASCAR Dural Ask Cup Series. It is time for the All-Star Race, the most unpredictable race of the season. 21 cars, got a crazy format here. No points, no BS, just the trophy. Here we go, fellas. It is going to be one wild night of unscripted Diecast racing. So here's how it works, everyone. So we're going to have 21 cars, right? Each car is going to get one push. The top 10 cars after the first run will advance to segment two, and then the winner will be decided based on whoever finishes first, though. Whoever finishes 10th, will line up first, and whoever finishes first will line up 10th for segment two. So it's going to completely invert the whole field, and it's going to make it really insane. Any car can win this thing. That's the beauty of Dural Ice Cup Series racing, fellas. So, anyways, how it's going to work, you can take the car and put it on the track. Wherever it lands, that is where that car will finish. So let's say Truex goes here. The second car to go in the Dural Ice Cup Series race here, guys, is going to be Kyle Busch, brand new car, Stanley Toyota Camry. Wherever that car lands, that's where he finishes. If the nose of this car gets to the back end of the other car, or perhaps Truex, or whoever else on the racetrack, that is a completed pass. So if the nose gets to here, that's a completed pass there. Obviously, with the short track race, unlike the last one at Talladega, there is no um, pack racing rules. So they can be spread out as much as possible. Uh, it's going to be a wild one here at Richmond Raceway. So... Without further ado, here is the first car to go. It is Martin Truex Jr., your pole sitter for the Durais Cup Series All-Star Race. And a huge shout-out to Diecast Cup Series coming on board and sponsoring tonight's race. Thank you so much for that. Make sure to check them out on Instagram. And so without further ado, let's get it underway. There's Truex's run there. Again, only the top 10 will advance to segment two. And if you're first, you will line up 10th which generally is kind of an advantage starting last in any Dural Ask Cup Series race. Statistics don't lie. Pole winners do not win much races. Here is Kyle Busch. And here is Kyle Larson, arguably the fastest Chevrolet in the field. Let's see what he can do. And he'll be third. Here's a brand new car here, Chase Elliott in the A-Shock Energy Chevrolet Camaro. Holy cow, well, we might have a new, uh, <laughs> a new fastest Chevrolet in the field. Chase Elliott's going out front here. Here's Austin Dillon. Kind of bumped the track right there. Don't worry about that. I think they're close enough. It's the all-star race. There's no points involved, so it's all good. Here's the number three car. And Dillon looks like he's going to be eliminated. Obviously, for DNFs, if a car comes off the racetrack or makes any abrupt stops, that is automatic DNF, so uh, if any of these cars wreck out, they're automatically not going to advance to segment two, which is good for the rest of the field, because the bottom 11 cars out of the top 21 are eliminated. So here's Ryan Blaney. And Blaney going to fourth. Or no, make it fifth. Kevin Harvick back with the Bush Apple Ale Ford Mustang. An extremely slow race car there. Here's the 84 car of Daniel Hemrick. Holy cow, very good run there. Custer in the 41 car. And Cole Custer gets around to second. Here's the 14 car, Chase Briscoe. And Briscoe will get around Kyle Busch. So as of right now, any car behind Austin Dillon is going to be eliminated. That is the bubble. So Austin Dillon, by a thread, is hanging on. Uh, let's see how this one shakes out, fellas. Here is uh, good old uh, Tyler Reddick in the eight car. Let's see uh, how this one shakes out. And there we go. Tyler Reddick is going to knock out his teammate. He's going to go up to second. Right now, the three car, if none of these other cars wreck, Austin Dillon will miss the cutoff to segment two. Here is William Byron. And, uh, well, he'll survive so far. So that means Kevin Harvick is now on the outside looking in. The bubble goes to the 24. Here's Hamlin. And Hamlin survives. And not a good run right there. Bowman's going to be out. Here's your Talladega winner, uh, Andrew Keaton. Uh, let's see what this cat can do. And maybe, maybe he will survive in advance. Ryan Newman, who won the All-Star Race last year. And Newman, uh, don't think it's going to be good enough. So with five cards left to go, the 12th car of Ryan Blaney is the last car in. So that is the 10th place spot. Everyone behind him is automatically out. 
Uh, once again, only the top 10 cars out of 21 will advance to segment two. Here's AJ Allmendinger. Shot out of a cannon. He's going to go to segment two. So now that puts the bubble on, well, the 88 car of Andrew Keaton, otherwise known as Little Wrangler 3. And of course, uh, the eligibility for the All-Star Race, I'll just go through it real quick. It is Thorough Last Cup Series champions, Thorough Last Cup Series All-Star winners, and then the rest of the top uh, in the points. So... Um, as of that right there, that'd be Ryan Newman as the all-star winner, Alex Bowman, and then Denny Hamlet as the Duralize Cup Series uh, champion provisionals. Anyways, uh, here is uh, good old Justin Haley in the 77. And that is going to put Larson on the bubble. Three cars left to go. Here is Eric Jones. Oh, Larson so far survives. Two cars left to go. Here's Michael McDowell. McDowell, not going to be good enough. Well, on the bubble, it's going to be Kyle Larson. And the last car to go, well, virtue, of course, having a top uh, spot in the points. Believe it or not, it's going to be Cody Ware in the 52 car. Had to get the 24 off the track there, but uh, let's see what Cody Ware can do. And the 52 will not advance, and that means Larson would hang on. Elliott is going to win segment one. Alrighty, folks, it is time for segment two at the All-Star Race, and of course, the top ten is inverted. So Chase Hill winning segment one will roll off tenth. And believe it or not, which might actually be great, Kyle Larson, who finished tenth in, of course, segment one, he gets to start off first in segment two. And of course, uh, you know, if you want to get, you know, your Kyle Larson merchandise or Chase Elliott stuff, get it while you can. Larson stuff is shooting up in value. Make sure you get your Larson stuff this holiday season with the promo code DiecastBuffet at Circle Diecast and Plan B Sales. Any orders, $20 or more, you will get free shipping. So make sure to check it out, guys, for your next 124, 164 hats, t shirts, whatever your next purchase is. Don't pay for shipping anymore, fellas. So. Here we go, get your popcorn, 10 cars to go for the All-Star Race, and the next NASCAR Drive's Cup Series broadcast will be due December 23rd. It's going to be a fun Thursday race here at Richmond, so uh, a doubleheader. Um, you know, we took a little bit of a break for the Drive's Cup Series, things happen, but uh, we're back on it. So, uh, let's see what Kyle Larson can do. Can he win the All-Star? And Larson, well... Pretty good run right there. AJ Allmendinger, definitely an upset car, but could he win it? And not good enough. Here's Justin Haley. This car, believe it or not, this car won at Richmond in Season 3. And sure enough, Justin Haley is out front. Kyle Busch looking to win in the Stanley car. Probably the only time we'll run this paint scheme. Who knows? Let's see what he can do. Kyle Busch to the front. Here's Chase Briscoe. Honestly, my pick to win this race based on the performance of this car. Pun intended, the Ford Performance Racing School Mustang. But uh, Chase Briscoe is really coming alive in Duras Cup Series competition. Let's see what he could do. And Briscoe's going to be enough to get the third place, but Kyle Busch still out front. Kyle Busch already won a short track race this season. He went and won at Rockingham. Here is your pole sitter of the whole All-Star race, Mark Trucks Jr. He's going to have to be really good to win it. And Truex to second. Four cars left to go. The 2021 All-Star race. Here is Daniel Hemrick. And Hemrick, not good enough. He'll get around the five. I don't know about you fellas, but it looks like the five car is actually slowing down. It, when it, wherever we got that car first, brand new, right? That thing was extremely fast. But it does seem like the wear and tear on that five car is starting to show up. Here is Cole Custer. And not a good run. Five car continues to drive. That's kind of one of the disadvantages of starting out first. Um, if you don't have a good car or you don't have a good lap, you just free fall. Uh, but Kyle Busch having a great lap here. Tyler Reddick, wow, what an upset that would be if he could win the All-Star race. And all oh, the track's starting to come apart there in the eight car. It's going to take uh, take away the spot from 41 of Cole Custer. All righty, fellas, here we go. One more car to go. It's going to be the brand new car, A-Shock Energy Chase Elliott versus the brand new car of Kyle Busch. You know, I love to see new cars in the series, right? Because each die cast has their own speed. This car is probably faster than this car. This car is probably faster than this car most days of the week. That is the beauty of unscripted diecast racing is each car rolls their own way. They have their own speed. So can Chase Elliott 
get the All-Star win here. He won the 500. He's going to have to pass Kyle Busch to do it. Let's see. Final run of the All-Star race. Shot out of a kid, and that is going to be a huge win for the brand new car. Chase Elliott will win the All-Star race in walk-off fashion. Wow. What a finish to the All-Star race, fellas. This is a brand new car. Brand new car, unscripted diecast racing, and I truly thought that this car over here, I'm going to show you real quick. Kyle Larson's number five car was the fastest car in Duralance Cup Series Chevrolet competition. And it certainly looks like the five car is starting to lose a little bit of its luster. You think about it, these cars, once they roll enough, their axles will start to de deteriorate. We could be seeing that with the five car here, fellas. And without a shadow of a doubt, this is the fastest Chevrolet in the Cup Series right now. Unbelievable stuff, guys. Uh, this is a brand new car. Brand new car. And I tell you what, Chase Elliott might have a piece to sweep Richmond with because this car is running the 400 here next Thursday. You're going to want to tune in for that. That's going to be December 23rd, a few days before Christmas. So if you want to uh, be able to watch and see if Chase Elliott can do it or could we possibly see Chase Briscoe uh, get his first Dry Cup Series win. What a valiant effort from all the all-star cars out there. Uh, obviously, there's some notice noticeable drivers that didn't make it. Bubba Wallace Jr. was one of those. Uh, or Bubba Wallace. And then you have, of course, Brad Kozlowski, a heck of a Joey Logano, Ross Chastain. But nonetheless, it was Chase Elliott in the A-Shock Energy car winning this race. Unscripted diecast racing. You've seen it both runs. This car smoked the joint, man. This thing burnt it down. So I want to say thank you again so much to Diecast Cup Series. Diecast Cup Series on Instagram. Link down below to his page. Make sure to go check him out. He also has a YouTube channel. He does Diecast reviews, guys. Make sure to go check him out. And if you want to get a, a sponsorship in the NASCAR Doris Cup Series, make sure to email me at diecastbuffetyt at gmail.com or check me out on Instagram at diecastbuffet. It does cost. But what is good? There ain't nothing cooler than having your brand in the NASCAR Dora Last Cup Series. And again, um, I got to give some more Dora Last Cup Series breaking news. We're going to have a new driver in the field. Yes, a new driver. He's not guaranteed. But Diecast Cup Series is going to be fielding a car. That will be coming up soon. Uh, it's going to be in partnership with Buffet Racing South. So it's going to be an in-house chassis from Buffet Racing South, but fielded by a different team. That will be coming up soon. It's not guaranteed. So if, I, if the car is built and it's slow as dirt, there's nothing I can do about it. But it is going to be built and partially funded from Buffet Racing South. So that's going to be cool to see some more Dora's Cup Series competition coming in. Uh, but absolutely, guys, make sure to tune in this Thursday. Give me the Richmond 400. Same track, same configuration. A lot of the same cards we've seen tonight will run. But if I'm like Kyle Larson, man, do I want to run a different car? That was not competitive enough. Thank you all again so much for tuning in tonight. And, of course, for all your uh, diecast shop. Please use it. It does help out the channel and allows me to be able to do cool videos like this.